Hello. Welcome back to The Real Deal. Two games left this season and uh, one point ahead of Real Madrid. So it could be really good. Could be awful. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. If you weren't here for the last episode, then you'll know that we could have won it last episode. However, we lost both our games last episode, including one to Real Madrid. So, I mean, they've they've gone down from seven points behind us to now one point behind us. We've got two games left against teams that we should be beating, but uh, we're not in the best of form. So, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Just a, a quick reminder for you out there. We are one point ahead of Real Madrid. Two games to go. We play Deportivo La Coruña first. If we beat them, then we win the title because we're four points clear with only one game to go. So, that's great. In saying that, I have just realised I'm an idiot. Yes, if we beat... Deportivo La Coruña, we go four points clear, which is great. But that doesn't actually... If Real Madrid win, they also go get three points, don't they, if they win? So then they go one point behind us. So, okay, I've literally been telling myself that we just need to one, win one game. But we don't, do we? We do need to win both games. So, I, I mean, I, I feel like an idiot now. If anything, the pressure's now on even more. So, fan, fantastic stuff. Let's just get into today's game, shall we? Let's just get into it. Try and get it over with, because I hate this kind of stuff. Berkeley Urza starts in goal with a back line of Cucurella, Sanchez, Babic and Ruiz. Harbo back into the CDM role because Dad is back fit from his injuries. He comes back into the side today alongside Kadir with Adzid on the left, Orsolini on the right and Hans Osmanovic, who needs to get a few goals if he wants to become the top goal scorer in the league this season. That's the lineup. Hopefully, we're going to have enough to beat Corunia today at home. They did beat Real Madrid earlier on the season uh, a few weeks ago, so... Obviously, they're a decent side. They could probably beat us if they played at their best and we weren't on our best sort of thing. So, it's, it's a nervy game. It's a very nervy game. All right, then, kickoff is upon us here today and we need to win. As I've said probably too many times already, you're probably, you're probably sick of me saying this, that we need to win. Uh, we are the only game kicking off at the moment. Yeah, we are. Real Madrid kick off just after as they play against Bilbao, who are... Where are Bilbao? They are... I can't even... Oh, they're down in 14th right now. So... You know, you're going to assume that Bilbao aren't going to beat Real Madrid. I'll be delighted, though, if they do. If they manage to beat Real Madrid, I'll be absolutely delighted. We've got a chance, though, now in the 11th minute of the game. Osmanovic on the ball, coming down the right-hand side of the pitch. In towards Dan in the middle, who puts in towards Adzic. Suspicions of offside there, but the assistant manager, assistant manager, assistant referee is running up the pitch. He's not signaled for offside. Adzic gets the goal that puts us in front and temporarily four points ahead of Real Madrid. Another chance right afterwards, actually, as Dad gets on the end of the throw in there. Harbo into Kadi, who hits the crossbar. I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment. Benjamin Rollheiser, of course, playing for Deportivo La Coruña. Uh, used to be a player for his last season, actually. Uh, he moved over summer to them. He's a very, very good player, is, uh, is good old Benjamin Rollheiser. In fact, it was two seasons ago, I think he moved Benjamin Rollheiser, not last season. But he's a very good player, Benjamin Rollheiser. Just never really found a way to fit into our side, but has done very well at Deportivo. We've got a good goal-scoring record there as uh, the cross there from Cucurelli goes out for a goal kick. Corner now for us as Adzic puts one in, headed on by Babic. Somehow... Bevic managed to head it on to, to Sanchez. Sanchez is shot against the crossbar or the, uh, the post rather than it gets clear. Caruña have been lucky. We've hit the post twice now. Are we going to rue that? Is that something we're going to rue towards the end of this game as we can't seem to get it in the back of the net? We hit the post. They're going to score a late goal or something like that and then we only get a draw and then Madrid win. They go a point ahead of us and then we, cut, we win the next game at Soda Madrid. A third time we've hit the woodwork. Please no. Please, no. Just please get it in the back of the net. Please. And I want to win this game comfortably to try and alleviate any sort of heart defects that I might have. I can, I can already feel it coming. I can already feel it coming. We've hit the post three times now. And I can just about feel Karunia now coming and scoring a late goal to, to equalise or something stupid like that. As Kadir comes forward. Osmanovic on the ball. Into Adzic again. Adzic does put it in the back of the net this time. His second of the game. Another assist for Osmanovic as well. Fantastic stuff. We're tuning up now. Gives it a bit more breathing room. The higher we go, though, the harder the fall. So I can just imagine Karunia now scoring two late goals. I'm, I'm very pessimistic, as you can tell. I hate these kind of situations where we have to have to win the games. You know, mid-season, maybe we're, we're second in the table by three points. You know, we may be there for a long time. That doesn't phase me at all, trying to keep up with other teams. It's when we're, as Rollheiser scores against us, it's when we're in these situations where... We're like, you know, a point ahead with a two games to go or something like that. It's That's when I absolutely hate football manager. Another free kick for Karunia now. That was a very, very poor one. We've got a great chance to counterattack now as Ruiz 
comes forward with the ball in towards Osmanovic, but we haven't really made good use of the counter attack. They've basically got all their men back now. Dad, though, into Adzic, looking for his hat trick. Great tackle from David Cameron, of all people, who used to be another player of ours. He left uh, this summer actually to go to Corunia. So a few ex Oviedo players in the Corunia ranks right now. Adzic on the ball once again gets it across, but unfortunately the keeper can collect it. Osmanovic, though, back on the ball. He puts another fantastic ball up to Adzic. He puts it across to Orsolini to restore the two goal cushion that we had. As we approach half time now, I do I, I have faith in them now. I have faith in the boys to to come back with a win now. I didn't before, if I'm honest with you. Uh, at the start of the game, I honestly thought it was going to be one of those times where you're going to absolutely bottle everything, and I'd be terrified of that. But at half time, and did your two goals, also in his goal as well, puts us two goals ahead. Of Karunia. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done my assistant manager to do that because he's, he's upset Adzic there. Uh, we'll go passionately. I was happy with performance out there. He just looks confused now, not just confused and demotivated. Hopefully, then we just see the game out. Just see it out, boys, please. Throwing for us very early on in this second half, uh, Harbour manages to win the ball after after, after Adzic was dispossessed. Adzic back on the ball, looking for his hat trick, plays it out to Dad instead. Or Cellini gets his second of the game to make it 4 1. I'm feeling more comfortable now. We're going to win this game. I'm confident about that. Hopefully, Bilbao will beat Real Madrid and then there'll be no pressure for me because then we'll have won it. I'm also quite annoyed as well at the attendance. 33,500. There's 1,500 empty seats in this stadium right now. We could potentially win the league today. Potentially win the league today. And yet there's there's 1,500 people that aren't wanting to turn up, which I find very upsetting, actually. You know, there's no, you know, I want to see some true Oviedo fans as we just score a fifth Goal there. Osmanovic now getting on the end of Adige's pass this time. Once again, setting each other up. For most games this season, it has been a sellout of 35,000. Most games this season, I've got to say. So I don't know why it's suddenly just dipped a little bit for this one when we potentially could win the title. The fans have to sit in the stadium for another like two hours to then watch the, the Madrid game on their phones or maybe put it on the big screen. I don't know. They have to sit in the stadium and wait for it. And then we may win the title against, against, uh, against this team today. That's only if Atletico Madrid win as we just go 6-1 up there. You may have just seen the, the goal in the background. Pretty good return from our front three men today. Uh, Adzic on a hat-trick with two assists as well. Uh, of course, two goals for Orsolini and one goal for Osmanovic as well. He's looking for more goals is Osmanovic as he comes forward again. Adzic puts a pass into Dad this time who manages to score to make it 7-1. Why could we not play this well last episode against San Sebastian or Madrid? Why could we not do that last episode? Adige on the ball once again, this time back in towards Hans Osmanovic. He puts out to Orsolini looking for the number eight. Doesn't quite get it, goes out for a corner. I mean, we've been so clinical this game. I just don't understand why we couldn't do that in the previous two games and they would have won the title in the last episode if we'd just been as good as we were today in those two games. It's a bit frustrating, I've got to say. And there we go. It's all over here today. Oviedo 7, Karunia 1. So there's one game out of the way that we had to win and we've done it in spectacular fashion. Now, the Real Madrid game is kicking off straight after our game as uh, just, you know, adds it. Three goals, three assists. That's a 9.9 .9 rating. How is that not a 10? What did he do wrong to not get a 10? In fact, have you ever seen a 10 rating? I don't think I've ever actually seen a 10 rating. That's probably, the, you know, obviously that's as close as you get to a 10 rating, but uh, I'm not quite sure what he could do to get that 10. So if you've seen a 10 before, let me know how they got a 10. They must have scored like five goals. So here we go then. Uh, Bilbao taking on Madrid right now. We're going to continue the game. It's going to simulate through. If Bilbao win, we win the league. If they don't, then, well, we've got to play another game, haven't we? Which is not going to be good for me because I, I hate these kind of pressure situations. Oh, my oh my God. Oh, my goodness. Bilbao have just beaten Real Madrid 2-0. Is this, is this happening? What, what is... Right, this is incredible. Bilbao 2, Madrid 0. We've just won the title. We have just won the La Liga title. It's not even like Bilbao just did it on the counter-attack. They, they were right in there with Real Madrid the whole game. In fact, they probably outplayed Real Madrid. They've, we've, thank you so much, Bilbao. Mwah. Thank you, Bilbao. There we go. Oviedo do the, du the double. Why have we done the double? Right, this report is absolute rubbish as well. Because if you look at this, it says we've done the double. It doesn't tell me what else we've won this season. It just says that we won the Spanish First Division. And it also says down here, it's an impressive turnaround in fortune for me. Because apparently at one point I was close to being dismissed as Oviedo manager, despite us being top of the table since September. So this is absolutely ridiculous stuff. Uh, whichever news outlet wrote this, fake news. What isn't fake news is that we have just won the Liga title, which is incredible. I've been praised by Oviedo support. Am I, I better be a legend now at the club. 
I better be a legend at the club. We'll just look through this. The, the board are happy with the first division win. Um, the board, to be fair, the board confidence in me is only 74%. Why is that not 100%? Why is it not 100%? Ah, now we've won the title. Sanchez wants to withdraw his transfer request. He's been on a transfer. He's requested transfers at ages because he just he hasn't been playing basically until recently when, when Thingy Majiggy got injured. So he's clearly happy now that we've won the title to stay at the club. Well, Sanchez, I'm going to get rid of you over summer. If I was, in fact, I can't, can I? Because I'm not sticking around for that long. But uh, if I was still here, Sanchez would be gone. I'm not going to lie. There's, there's only been three messages telling me that I've won the title. Why has there not been a big hoo-ha about this? I've literally, I have literally just won the title for Oviedo. And, and the board are only 74% happy with me. That's, I feel a bit let down by this. Ah, oh, st still not a legend either. Still not a legend, you know. Uh, it's just, it's just right. Me and Hans Osanovic, icons. I can understand that. I just don't get why Anthony Lozano is an icon at the club. Like, I mean, he was a good player for us, but like, he was never a world beater. You know, he got us out of the second division into the first division. That was, that was it basically. I don't understand why he's an icon at the club and why I'm not a legend. Why am I not a legend? I've just won the Liga for you, and no one seems to be bothered by this. This is upsetting me. You know, I was like, this was meant to be my crowning glory. But no, the board are only 74% happy with me and the fans think I'm only an icon, not a legend. I mean, I've just gone forward a day as well and there's, there's still nothing. There's still nothing going on here. So, I mean, I won't even lie to you. There was, there was more hoo-ha for the under-19s team um, when... Let me, let me just search it instead. Under-19. I mean, the under-19s, they did the double. They won the, the Spanish under-19 cup and the Spanish under-19 division one. There's a bit more. There was more hoo-ha for them. I've, I just won the title for you guys. What's gone on here? Well, you know what? I'm upset by this. That no one, no one seems to care that I've just won you the the title. You know, with a game to go, with Real Madrid chasing us down. You know what I'm going to do? You know, this is meant to be my crowning glory, and no one cares. So I'm going to resign immediately. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye, Oviedo. You know. We had some. We had, we had a good run, um, and I wouldn't be doing. If we had another season to go, I wouldn't be doing this. Of course, I wouldn't be. But you know, these things happen. These things happen sometimes. You know, and I've I've been I've been left high and dry despite winning everything for Oviedo. Oh, geez. Oh, I, I may have just ruined Oviedo as well because apparently nine nine staff have left the club, and actually most of these are pretty good staff as well. In fact, most the most of them are very very good. Michu. Michu has left the club. He's an Oviedo legend, essentially. In real life, people absolutely adore Michu at Oviedo. And he's left, he's left the club because I have. So clearly he feels disgusted that the board hate me as well. It's nice to see that, though. It's nice to see that people appreciate me. Some people appreciate me, at least. That's, that's nice. Oh, should, we, should we apply to the Oviedo B job? Can we do that? Can we, can we actually apply to the Oviedo B job? We, we, we actually can. Let's apply for that job then. Let's apply to be manager of Oviedo B. That, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, we're never going to get the job of Oviedo B manager because the real deal is now finished. And this is the last time you're ever going to see me on Foot Manager 2018. Next episode, next video is going to be Dortmund in the beta of Football Manager 2019. And I'm super excited for it. It's going to be such a good game. Everything I've seen so far from this, it's like a step up, basically. It looks really good. Uh, the new features look really good as well. So I'm really excited to do some Foot Manager 2019 stuff with you. Uh, we're going to do things slightly differently. It's not. It's going to be a lot slower paced through the beta and things like that. And probably through the next few series that we do as well, a bit more slower paced, uh, perhaps slightly more in depth, focus a bit more on story and things like that. So I think it's going to be really entertaining. Hopefully you're going to stick around for it. Hopefully you'll join me next time for more Football Manager stuff. So thank you very much for watching the Real Deal series. It's been a wonderful journey to the point where we have won the title. Ended a little bit. I mean, I probably have overreacted quite a bit because I'm not a legend and the board didn't seem to like me much at all, which, you know, you know, that does hurt. But perhaps I could have got over it if they gave me a new contract. Either way, though, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series as a whole. I certainly have. And I can't wait to start on the next one. And hopefully you can join me for it next time as well. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.